Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I make my articulated Ken dolls. In order to change a Ken doll onto a articulated body, you should know three things. The articulated body that you're going to be using, and the head mold that will match it. Also, please be careful because you are risking the potential of breaking your doll, and I don't want that to happen, so as always, be careful. These are the three main articulated Ken bodies that we have to choose from. This body is the Fashionista Articulated, so you could find this body on Ken dolls from 2009 to 2012. Unfortunately, you cannot find these anymore except for eBay. You can find some used and new there. I've also gotten many of mine from my thrift stores. You can move the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the hip, and knee. This body is very similar to the Ken Fashionista Articulated, except there are a few differences. Typically this body will be on collector Kens, or Kens based off of characters from movies. So this is a Hunger Games Finnick doll, you can also find this on PETA, Tobias from Divergent, and most recently, I know they released a Jurassic Park Owen doll that's based off of Chris Pratt, which I need in my life. The points of articulation are the same as the previous one, except he does have ankle articulation. If you want your Ken to be super muscular, then this is the bod. This is Superman from the Batman vs Superman collector dolls. I like to call this body the superhero articulated, so it has a few more joints in the arm, and it definitely looks more muscular. Here is the shoulder joint, and then we have the bicep right here, and it's like popping. So he can definitely flex those muscles. The elbow is a double joint. The wrist and his hand is in a fist. He's got double jointed knees, and he does have articulation at the foot as well. And of course, the hip. It's important to know which face mold you are going to be using, because his head won't necessarily look good on all of these bodies. Your Ken is either going to have a short neck like his, or a long neck. I think Ken dolls are the easiest doll heads to remove. If you don't feel comfortable just plucking it off and you're scared that you're going to break it, heat up the neck and head area just a little bit with a hair dryer. But since I've done this a thousand times, all I do is I just twist it around and the head comes off just like that. It's super easy. Repeat with the Ken you're going to swap him with, and then pluck the new head on. This is Short Neck Ken with the Fashionista body. Now, as you can see, he kind of looks like he has no neck because his neck is so short. So it's up to you whether you like how he looks or not. Ken dolls with longer necks definitely fit on this body much better. A short neck with the collector body is definitely a perfect fit, besides the skin tone match, of course. But yeah, I would recommend this body definitely for Kendalls with shorter necks. As for the longer neck, Ken, yeah. I've never tried it out, and I can't say if it works or not, but I feel like you could trim this part a little bit to match the smaller neck Ken, and he would look perfect on this. And lastly, we have the superhero. The shorter neck looks really good on this body, and the skin tone actually matches him pretty well. The only thing is his head is really wobbly. Like, extremely wobbly. To fix it, I am taking some small elastic rubber bands. You could also use rainbow loom. And I'm tying them around the base of the neck peg. and around here. If the head still wobbles, just keep adding rubber bands. And he should be wobble free. He looks so cool. The longer neck Kens. Actually, this doesn't look too bad. Definitely when you see him from the side, you can see that extra neck flap. But I don't think this actually looks too horrible. So that is how I make my articulated Ken dolls. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you liked it, definitely leave a thumbs up. And if you have any video suggestions, definitely comment them down below. I love you guys, and as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!